Yeah. What do you have a sense of what the offense is going to look like once that lift is not broken? No, I have no idea. Because it just negates, you know, I was talking about it earlier, 30% or a little bit more of my game and some of the attributes that I can bring to the offense. And I think that would be huge. I think that would be huge. Um, in terms of letting me use my feet and extend plays, and then also implementing quarterback-driven runs, so I think it'll be huge when I when I'm able to do it. Real quick, we do have some other players in here. Feel free to help yourself if you need to speak with them. I won't keep Wimbush up here, and I do have a mic, so when you want to ask a question, raise your hand. We have Josh Adams, Equinemia St. Brown. <laughs> we have some studs. <laughs> Drew Greer. Hey, Brandon, back in the back here. Um, as far as your game goes, how much maybe has the fact that you can't get hit in practice helped you become a better in-the-pocket quarterback this offseason? Yeah, it's huge. And I think my pocket mobility, my pocket manipulation, manipulation um, has gotten immensely better uh, due to the coaching staff and Coach Reese and Coach Long have harped on that for the past seven months. And uh, I've tried to do my best to help my tackles and the rest of my offensive line. And then it also helps that I have to be quick and making decisions and be decisive within the pocket and find my check down. So having the red jersey, it, there's pros and cons to it as well. Your first game as a starter will come against Temple. What's the excitement like as you build towards that moment? Um, it, I'm pretty excited. I haven't been able to lead an offense for in the past since two years ago, really. So I was, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited to get back out there and, and like I said, lead the offense to to hopefully do something special this year. And I think we're going, we're taking this day by day and obviously we're excited for Temple to come, but uh, we're going to get better here and go back and evaluate the film and get here better, better day by day. Outside of a couple plays, fans, if they haven't come to these scrimmages, haven't had a chance to watch you yet, what should they expect from you this season? They should expect a guy who's not trying to do too much, who's trying to play within the offense. Um, I have a bunch of leaders, a bunch of experienced guys around me who've held the load for the past couple of years. And, I think uh, I'm, I'm steady. I think uh, I'm going to get the ball out to the guys who are going to make plays for me. And um, I have a bunch of those guys around me. So I think the offense is going to be really something special this year. What do you need to do in your eyes to have a successful season? I need to do just that, and that's play within the offense. Because, like I said, I have, to, I have a bunch of guys around me who have made plays previously. And uh, I just got to be smart and not try to do too much and play my game, which I know I, is, is a really good game. Hey, Brandon, uh, just being able to come out here as a team, do like a game-like scrimmage, yeah. even though you guys are still only two weeks away from your actual game, how much more does that bring it into perspective of we still got some time that we need to improve on despite being in a game situation yeah, like that? Yeah, we're 13 days away, and I always say I think we're in, a right, in the right position right now, being 13 days away. And I think to come out here and, and be in a game atmosphere in front of fans and, and run through the whole routine is, was huge for us in our preparation for Temple and um, yeah, 13 days, two weeks, less than two weeks away. And I, we couldn't be more excited about it. But like I said, we got to get better day by day here. And how do you feel? What do you think of the renovations when you walk through? How do you guys think that's going to be an advantage? I think to everybody's excited about that. And I think it was great to have the fans come in here and get to experience that, have the freshmen, um, the new class 2020, 2021, I think it is, come in here and, and experience that in the locker room. Everybody's excited, man. And, and just to add to the whole new culture that we've built here. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty special. Thank you. Yep. What's up, Tom? Brand Brandon, when was the last time you lined up in an I formation? Oh, I don't know, Eric. <laughs> Probably eighth grade. Eighth grade. <laughs> do you like that? Do you like I that do with like Brock it. Wright behind I do you? like it. It's yeah. getting back to old school football, tough football with a fullback, and, and it's awesome. Brock has been awesome. Logan Plant stepped in there a couple of times last week during practice, and they've been great, the fullbacks have. And uh, just to get back to some old school ball is pretty fun. And then we saw some formations today with Josh Adams and Tony Jones Jr. Yeah. And it curious your thoughts about that group together I think it's awesome all these backs that we have are able to we're able to utilize them in different ways and Tony can catch the ball like like nobody else can out of the backfield and uh, coach Long has done a great job utilizing him and the rest of the backs and having the two back system I think um, is really useful and, and it'll be successful for us
You know, when uh, Michael Young signed and you looked at all the guys yeah. that were coming back, the two grad transfers, it seemed pretty daunting that he could get in the mix. I'm curious yeah. your impression of him being able to kind of push up. Yeah, yeah, that. no, Mike has done a great job for us all, through, all the way throughout camp, as well as Jafar. And I think the, the, the entire receiving core has done an awesome job of, of kind of adopting what we've, uh, of what Coach Dell and Coach Long wanted from the receivers. From the receivers. Um, Freddie and, and Cam have done an awesome job of coming in and, and adopting and doing what has been asked of them to do. Um, but those, those two freshmen are really going to be special. And, and really, as you, you know, line up on September 2nd, how, how much of the first two years here were great investments in learning the offense, and how much did you have to start from scratch with all Chip yeah. Long's Speaking of investments, man, it's just these, like you said, the first two years have definitely been huge investments of, in myself, and I think that's probably the most important thing, um, understanding how to, be a quarterback really at the University of Notre Dame was huge and um, Coach Long didn't really change much when he came in here it's just a higher tempo a little bit of the verbiage has changed but pretty much the offense has, has stayed steady throughout Coach Kelly's tenure here and uh, I'm looking forward to running it good Eric awesome Thank you.